what Brian Laundrie was doing after he returned to Florida without Gabby Petito. There's new information on what Brian Laundrie was doing in the days before Gabby Petito was reported missing, when he returned home from their cross-country road trip without her. The 22-year-old Petito was found dead in Wyoming on September 19, and her parents spoke out to the media Tuesday about their heartbreak and the latest on the investigation. They unveiled matching tattoos designed and inspired by Gabby reading, Let It Be, and they vowed to help families of other missing people through a foundation in her name. We need positive stuff to come from the tragedy that happened, said Joe Petito, Gabby's father, their lawyer is urging Laundry to surrender. We're asking you to turn yourself into the FBI or nearest law enforcement agency, he said. The FBI is now leading the search for Laundry. His parents' attorney released a statement saying they don't know where Brian is, and that speculation they helped him hide, is just wrong. This, as new details emerge about Laundry's activity in the days after Petito's death. Reality TV star Dwayne Chapman, better known as Dog the Bounty Hunter, has now joined the search for Laundry. He says he got a tip that Laundry and his parents camped at Fort DeSoto Park in Florida twice in early September, just days after Laundry returned home without Petito. They were registered and they went through the gate on camera. Allegedly, what we're hearing is two people left on the 8th. Three people came on the 6th and two people left on the 8th. I think he's been here, for sure, he said. 